Whatever you want. <laughs> hey everyone, it's your host Stacey Eck and I'm standing here with the amazing Ruben who spoke today at the diversity panel and you were incredible, by the Thank way. You. Thank you so much. Insightful. Thank you. What do you feel like is the reason that you came to an event like this? Um, you know, I think it's really important to help drive the conversation in a meaningful way. And so for me, I really enjoy the opportunity to share as much knowledge as I can about this industry because I am fiercely passionate about what I do. Yeah. And I love nothing more than meeting young, hungry, aspiring content creators and writers and people who could be my colleagues someday. So um, I, I really enjoy that part of all of this. I love that. Okay, so being passionate about what you do, what's a really amazing day for you in the room? Like, what does that look like? Is it you teaching about diversity? Is it you hiring the right person or getting a new client? What is a, a the best day that's a really hard question to answer because I, I will say that one of the best things about what I get to do is that there is no typical day and that's what I love about it so a good day is a day that is not like yesterday and is definitely different from tomorrow so that is probably the greatest part about this industry and, and my job every day Okay, so be before you got to this position, was there any roadblock, something you specifically remember was a hurdle that you got over, and how did you deal with it? Yeah, I, was, I got in my own way. I think I'm a, I'm a Ooh, self... explain. Right? I think I'm a little bit of like a self-sabotager. Like I'm like... We all are. Right? We all yes. are. We all have... We are our own personal roadblocks, right? So for me, it was thinking that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And so I just remember having a lot of those internal struggles and internal dialogue about what do I want to do? No, I mean, I just sat and like with my head in my hands and like... I would cry because I was stressed out and I would think and overthink and over strategize and I still do that to an extent today but I think um, what I've realized is that I, I don't know what I don't know and so being open to exploring and being open-minded has really helped me get through those self-inflicted roadblocks I'd say. Anybody you look up to the most right now that's kind of keeping you grounded? There are so, so, so many people. I have this, what I call, uh, I have like my own board of directors, right? A lot of people have mentors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my own, I've got people who help me with questions about my personal life, people with work. Um, I'm inspired, to be perfectly frank, uh, every day by my colleagues. I mean, they're so smart, they are so passionate, and they are all part of my journey in terms of helping to teach me about this business. And so I'm inspired by my company and, and, and the people who are out there in this industry that are game changers, because I, I hope to be one of them. You are, I think you are. I'm learning so much. And I, what made me um, laugh the most and realize that you are so authentic is that you said that trying to be an agent at five is a lie. So when for you, like what was your, this is what I'm gonna do, because even in college, I mean, is that something you knew? Or I know you kind of fought it a little bit. I knew that I wanted to be in entertainment, but I didn't know what it was that I wanted to do, right? Um, so for me, like, like I said in there too, I, I'm 29 and I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm still exploring and I'm excited by that, right? I'm excited by that. I let that be a little bit of the driving factor in my life right now as I'm figuring things out. Um, but I do know that I love entertainment. I do know that I want to be a part of the the, the team, the people that are changing the complexion of this industry, both from the business perspective, but also helping to tell really, really meaningful, authentic stories on television. That's, that's what I want to do. And so I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that, but that's, that's the goal. And you're on, you are seriously on the way, trust me. Um, last piece of advice maybe to somebody trying to get into your shoes one day. Um, be open-minded. I mean, I think that's yeah. that's the most Your important theme. thing. Yeah. That's my theme, and I think it's because I, you know, I didn't know that I would end up here. I didn't know that this is what I wanted to do, and I feel like I was so focused on, again, being able to check off a box and say I want to be a producer or I want to do this or I want to do that. That I was so closed off to the opportunities that were around me, and so open-mindedness and. I'd say open-mindedness is probably the best, the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys just get inspired? Oh, my God. Thank you so much for chatting with us and coming. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here.